okay here we go um, so I'm, I'm just gonna start coding here I'm gonna I'm gonna write uh, a component in Mithril and I'm gonna send data to this component so we just start I have I have a Mithril project um, and I have done all this uh, npm install uh, Mithril and webpack and so on so I have a folder now and I have everything set up like in the, in the earlier video so I start with use strict and then I have to get the Mithril library require and then I will define my component like this like said before, it's an object, it's a JavaScript object with a view method. So, view function. It's going well, this. I think it's going to go well, pretty well. View function, and that will return. I forgot to put a parameter in the view function, uh, which I guess that's the standard to call it v node, but you can call it um, anything. I think, yeah, as long as you use the same name in the in the return uh, statement. So return. Um, what are we returning? We are returning h one. hello plus and then we go vnode attributes name and in our mount method we start with the the root so uh, for simplicity um, let's just go with document body and here I could go if I didn't have any data to send in I would just write uh, the name of the component like this uh, this is not gonna work uh, because we are when we are sending data from the mount function we need to write a new view method inside the mount function and we do that in the same way like that so here we have a new return statement and here we'll return my component and that will get the component and then we will send an object um, where we set name to uh, Harry. Uh, so uh, this is important that uh, I think it is important that name is without uh, quotes. So so now we're sending the name Harry to my component and. Um, Hopefully this will work, and it works right away. That's uh, that's the first time, actually. Okay, so uh, we could try this with quotes here and see what happens. Oh, that that works as well. So so uh, you get to choose. So anyway, that was a, a short um, um, example of components. So thank you for watching and um, till next time. Thank you.